Chapter 3, Section 1. Simulation Basics. In this section of the video series, we will be discussing some of the basic requirements for simulating a radiant project. Additionally, the general flow and different methods for simulating a project will also be introduced. To begin, we are going to review the general flow for simulating a project. The first step in the project simulation flow is to create a test bench. Once a test bench has been created, the next steps are to launch the simulation tool and set up the simulation environment for the project. Once the simulation environment has been configured, the final steps are to compile the design and run the simulation. Now that we've reviewed the general flow for simulating a project, we are going to briefly discuss some of the basics for its first step, test bench creation. As mentioned in the previous slide, a test bench is the first thing that is required for project simulation. A test bench is the module that provides stimulus for the design that is being simulated. Test benches can be added or imported to a project like any other design files. If users do not have a test bench, Radiant can also be used to create one from scratch. One useful feature of Lattice Radiant is that a test fixture template can be generated to simplify the process for setting up a project for simulation. To generate a test fixture template for a Radiant project, users must first switch to the File List Project tab. Once the File List tab is open, the next step is to right-click the file you want to simulate from the Project Hierarchy window. From the drop-down that appears, select Barilog Test Fixture Template. Doing this will open a new text editor window with the generated test fixture template. Once a test fixture template has been generated, its contents should look similar to the example in the slide. This test fixture template contains a few sections that simplify the process for creating a test bench. The first part of the module defines the test bench module. Underneath that section, are the port declarations for the top module being simulated. Underneath the port declarations is the design under test, which is instantiated and connected automatically. The final section of the test fixture template is the initial stimulus block. One important thing to remember is that users will still need to set up additional stimulus for their test bench. This is because the test fixture template is only intended for assisting in test bench generation. Before users simulate a project, they should ensure that the files in their implementation are configured for the correct processes. As mentioned earlier in the video training series, the process as a file is included for depend on the settings of its implementation. By default, all design files are included for both synthesis and simulation. To prevent any issues later on in the project development process, users should make sure that their simulation-related design files are included for simulation only. To use a test bench or other simulation-related file for simulation only, right-click the file in the File List tab. From the drop-down that appears, select Include for and then simulation. Doing this will make it so that file is only used for project simulation, and is not included for synthesis. That concludes this section of the introductory training series. To view the next video in the chapter, select the video titled Section 3.2, Model Sim Environment Introduction.